Alright guys, welcome to Cave Story Plus. So, this is a game I've meant to play forever. I actually started playing a while back, like, a year and a half maybe? Two years? I don't know, it's been a while. Uh, and I, it was going good up until one point where I kind of got stuck for a little bit, and then I started making progress, and then I don't know what happened, but something huge happened, I'm not sure what it is, and then I had to put down the game for a while and never picked it back up. And I decided I would do this as a let's play at some point, because I enjoy Metroidvania-esque games. I didn't realize I enjoyed them until recently, but I'll tell that story in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I need to check out on one thing on the recording. As you might have noticed, the audio level went down, which is incredibly nice. Oh, actually, the audio level... I might need to fix this in editing, because the audio level... There we go, I'm fixing it a little bit. Alright, I can make sure that everything is in fact working. I'm not losing frames or anything. There we go. Now that everything's perfectly going fine and dandy. Press button 1 to begin, aka X for me. Or oh, because I'm using a PlayStation controller, it might be A or whatever you set it to. So, to explain why I say Cave Story Plus, even though it says Cave Story, this is the Steam release of Cave Story Plus. There are releases on Nintendo consoles and possibly other ones, I'm not positive on that, a uh, future game can say that, but whatever that is. Uh, game options, you can have it for windowed or full stretch or just fit normal resolutions. Uh, there's your music volume, sound volume, and there's different kinds of music. There is the remastered, which is really nice, the original, and then this new music. I'm going to be going for the new music, it's kind of like catchy and things, but I really like the remaster as well, so I might change that later, I'm not positive. Graphics, new versus old, I'm going to be going with new obviously, and I'm of course speaking English, so I'd prefer to know what it is that I'm reading. So let's go straight into cha challenge, I almost said challenges, I was reading that for some reason. Story mode. Let's do this. Uh. First file, difficulty, uh, <laughs> really they put that as I'm too afraid? Alright, I'm gonna do the original difficulty level because I'm not a wuss who plays on easy, I'm also not some hardcore who kind of bam who plays on hard the first time. Someone's transmission. Connecting to network. Logged on. Starting I am chat. Kazuma, Su? Are you there? It's me. It's Kazuma. I was somehow able to escape, but I got lost. I'm in a shelter without anything inside. If you're reading this, please answer. Please? And here I am. Uh... I don't know everything about this game and how everything works, but I will say that uh, this the save. I will say that I thought this was really cool when I did play it. That's all I remember about it, pretty much, besides a few plot points later on. Uh, as you can tell, those were healing and saving stations, but I don't really care about those. This is first cave. So, as you might guess, it's very Mega Man and that spikes are death. Uh can't do anything with the ads. Ow. Obtained a life capsule. This is pretty much a heart container, if I remember right. Yeah. Uh, I'm Juggernaut, which is just pretty much saying, oh, yeah, you got uh, uh, enough uh, things to be considered Juggernaut with all your health. I thought that thing was mimicking my jumps for a minute. Oh, yeah, and there's an air system in this game. I completely forgot that much. Hermit guard. I'm stealing your stuff. Open the treasure chest. Obtain the Polar Star. Oh, this is your first gun. The Pea Shooter. The Polar Star. As per usual, I'm gonna have to edit out all of that, but obtain the Polar Star. I don't know why it had to replay that, but alright. Someone's transmission. Searching for Sue. One Sue found. Lawyers. Sue! Answer me! They're looking for you! Are you asleep or what? Your brother's so lonely. 
Okay. Well, I have the pea shooter, the little polar star or whatever it's called. So apparently he would have just been sleeping anyway. Yeah. I. Uh, sorry for anyone who wants this to be all professional or extremely fast. I am neither of those things. Ow. Luckily, he dropped some hearts. And I am also uh, forgetting how much damage you can take in these early areas. Because you don't have a lot of hearts, I should watch out. Get more experience. And I might be wrong on this, but I think experience, if you get hit, you actually lose experience? I'd rather not test that though, or maybe it's when you die. Permeance is not one of the strong suits in this game, if I remember right. Everything's constantly changing, it's great. Ow, oh, ow. Forgot that's the enemy. Freaking mimic. Ah, crap, just a second, my headset's messing up. There we go, fixed it. Come on, Sue! Type something, will you? Starving over here. I'm so hungry that that I even ate a cockroach. <laughs> well, just kidding. But just so you know, if I get to that point, I'll do it. Mamiga Village. Give me the key. No way. <laughs> Are you trying to protect that Sue girl? She's an outsider. Sue is a good person. I won't betray Sue. Toriko. The next time the doctor shows up, someone else will be taken away. If Sue isn't turned in, you could be d in danger. But, but, just hand over the key. Uh, what the butt? Well, I feel kind of bad for that, so I'm just going to leave him. No, I'm just kidding. I'll talk to him. Ellipses. What? You're not an enemy? I thought you were one of them. My name is King. I'm the number one in this village. Though I say number one, it doesn't really mean much. There are only six of us left in the village. Well, really, including Sue at seven, but she's not one of us. She's just an outsider that came in our village. Ah, well, just like me, then. That's a save room, then, for healing and whatnot. I'm actually going to use this room because I believe there's a heal station in here. Yes, there is. Life fulfilled. Save the game as I'm probably going to die at some point since I'm not used to this kind of game. Up is Yamashita Farm. Left is Reservoir, right Cemetery, and down is Arthur's House. Oh, this must be where the girl went. <laughs> oh no, this is just a really fat guy. <laughs> Jeez, you scared me, Sue. Oh, you mean the girl staying at Arthur's house, right? She lives together with Toriko. That girl's a real cutie. She must be looking for flying dragons. What? Wonder if there really is such a thing. Dragons that fly in the sky. Whatever you say, guy. Alright, then let's head into this random broken down shack that has nothing to do with anything. Right. Uh... I feel like I want to tell the story that I mentioned earlier, but I don't want to get interrupted, but I, don't, I doubt that's going to happen, actually. So, like I was saying earlier, uh, I've kind of been... I didn't know I'd ever played a Metroidvania-style game. That was my one regret, having never played a Metroidvania game. I'd played one of the original Castlevanias and the original Metroid, as well as Metroid Prime. Those are the only games of those styles that I had played, and I was like, wow, I wish I'd played a Metroidvania-style game, until I realized that I played Dust in the Listening Tale on this channel, and I actually 100 percent of that game. And apparently that's a Metroidvania-style game. I did not realize that, and I really loved that game, like with the burning passion of a million Foreman grills. So, since I loved it so much, I decided that I would be playing more on my channel. And that it would actually be a good format for things. Ha, got the treasure chest. Open the treasure chest. Obtain the map system. Don't get lost. I'm not going to open all of the achievements that I get, but, you know, some that I don't know what are I might check out. Something's written. So long as you always maintain a sense of exploration, you will someday find the way out. This is my hope. Okay, then. Well, I... 
house. I guess I need to be as great as I can in Arthur's house. This must be where Toriko is. It's locked, though. Alright, well, I'll have to go on checking around. Maybe there's a key, like, on the roof or something. Nah, that'd be too easy, right? I probably need to make progress in another area, and then come back here and it'll be open. So yeah, like I said, I really thought it'd be a good game, like, a good genre to play on this channel at some point, and as such, I felt like doing more of it. But recently, I started up my Wii U, and I was like, what games do I have in here? Steam World Dig? I'll try that. And it turns out that's kind of Metroidvania-inspired, and is a really cool, like, digging-style game where you get to the bottom and you have to fight things. You never, you only ever have to fight one boss, and it's the final boss battle was incredibly underwhelming and makes you feel way too overpowered, but it was definitely worth the 5 hours 45 minutes exactly I put into it. Yeah, Sue, that cute girl's always hiding inside Arthur's house. She's recently come to Mimika Village. She fell into the reservoir there. I don't think she's very fond of us. Seems like she hates everyone in the village, but she's a Mimika. Same as the rest of us. Oh. Well, Sue is apparently a Mamiga like the rest of them, but hates everyone? Why is Toriko so fond of the Sue girl then? And why is that one humanoid guy, like, sister and stuff? Like, I, I don't remember these details actually. That Toriko! She took advantage of the commotion and escaped! Well, whatever you say, dude. To be fair, you're kind of bullying her. Yamashita Farm. Apparently it's just watering the ground there. Got another life capsule, which means higher max health. I'm Juggernaut, 9 out of 50. So once I get to 50 max health, I'll get an achievement. This is the farm where we grow flowers. My job is to protect this farm. To, to us Mimiga, these flowers are a precious source of food, but not the red flowers. Either that if we eat red flowers or blood pressure skyrockets, we'll die in an instant. Fortunately, on this farm, we don't grow those vile red flowers. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Stay away from red flowers. They're no good for Mimiga. I'm not a Mimiga, obviously. I'm some kind of little boy with, like, a Pokemon-inspired outfit, but... Um... I'm not sure where to go, exactly? Let's see. It's locked. That doesn't change anything by checking it multiple times. Arthur's house. I'm not really positive where I'm supposed to be going. I'm sorry this is kind of lame for a lot of people, especially the people who know what they're doing, but I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Uh, Not positive where I need to be going. I might do a little bit of cutting here so I can check around the area. If I find anything, I'll, you know, report back. This is just a village, so you guys don't have to worry about missing anything. I've showed almost everything. Mm -mm. Oh! Jeez, you scared me, Sue. Oh! Yeah, that's the exact same thing you said last time. Oh? Something shines brightly. Obtain the silver locket. I kind of feel bad for killing that fish now. Kind of made a, like, wild... <laughs> well, I think that's our cue to go chasing after her. Hand over that key! No! Pushed him right out of the way. King of falling over much. Ah! Toriko! Don't underestimate me! Uh, I think you're over... I think you're underestimating her. Uh, maybe she went to hide in the shed? Shack, whatever it's called. What? You jerk! Ow! Bad. No. Bad bunny. Oh, oh help me, help me! Uh, you're not the doctor? Oh, sorry about that. I swear to God, if anyone else compares me to the doctor, I'm gonna slap them. The doctor's such a cruel and evil person. That's the first time I've heard that, though. He shows up in the village and kidnaps Mimiga, at times even killing someone. The doctor, he killed my older brother. Ha-ha, uh -uh, the pendant. You picked it up for me? Sue gave it to me. Uh, but I don't want it anymore. 
King gets bent out of shape when Sue and I get along. Please keep it. What? What? Oh yeah! I found you! It's no use hiding from me! I've got the nose of a clever harrier! Indeed. Oh, it's a woman. <laughs> yes, he has the nose and the brain of a dog. Misery! I found her first! You two, you're with the doctor! <laughs> he must be Sue. The great doctor has summoned you. Come along with me. Uh, huh? But I'm not Sue! Uh, Bubble m Woman much? Wah! Balrog, the rest is up to you. I'm the wrong person! I told you! Not this again. I almost have to cl I always have to clean up. And I'm the one who found her, not Misery. So what's up? You want to fight with me in that little pea shooter? <laughs> yeah, I've been itching for one. Understood. Oh crap, I uh, was pressing the stick instead of... I forgot the stick and... Uh... Oh crap! Okay, his movements are really weird. No! Come on, come on! Come on, I'm not doing well here! Please keep being stupid. Gotcha. Ah, Balrog dead. I'll remember this. I'm sure you will. Defeated Balrog. Ah, yeah. Wanna fight? I need to check out what this achievement is. Defeated Balrog. I guess it was that simple. All right, never mind. That's just more editing for me because. I need to, you know, block out the friends list and whatnot properly, so you guys can't just... Uh, there are weird people on YouTube. I've had some really odd comments. I'd rather my friends not have to deal with that. Anyone who joins some videos knows they have to, but whatever. Huh? Toriko has been kidnapped? Bah, now the only girl left in the entire village is Sue. And she's apparently crazy. Don't you love that? Before I do anything else, actually, Guys, since we're already 20 minutes in, I'm gonna heal up here and then save. Alright guys, next time let's play Cave Story Plus. We're gonna be moving further into the game. Uh, I guess we're gonna be chasing after Sue's captors and trying to- not Sue. Toriko's captors and I guess trying to meet this Sue person? I don't know. I don't remember quite enough about this game to give quite a qu clear explanation of what's happening here, but I'll say that this game is really charming, and Balrog is actually, I think, a recurring character that we have to keep fighting. It's going to be fun. These characters really develop into cool things. See you guys next time.